Voice Diary on May 12, Pronunciation and Listening. After listening, we can get a good pronunciation. This is an important thing. And then, how we can listen? This is an important fact of, uh, about uh, the step-by-step -step level in listening. For example, when the kids listen about their linguistic area knowledge, we don't expect they can listen about science or economics. So, and the level of listening is very step by step. But as a grown up who learn foreign language, we already know about all content. We already know about all common sense and knowledge. So we can understand what we listen. But the fact is that we cannot listen, we cannot remember after listening. That is the point. So how we can listen to any video on YouTube and it's a life story or success story, interview, news, Lots of stuff from the YouTube videos. This is a matter of facts about building vocabulary, knowing many sentences, ability to read. So, and then we can listen from what we know. This is important point about listening. So I can listen to a little bit, but and now I realize that I should know about many book, many words to build vocabulary and sentences to know about grammar and then the stories to understand the whole story in spoken language with the, any languages, foreign languages. So, and then the point is listening is not the listening itself, the but ability to understand. So, and then practice listening is important, but to get the goal, To get the goal and listening, and then we should know about the vocabulary and sentence, and then lots of conversation and the stories. So, and then building the cultural and the linguistic uh, knowledge is important. So, and then I bet and that we can practice uh, listening to that uh, about what we know. This is uh, my view about listening. After listening, I can improve the pronunciation. If I try to only to improve the pronunciation like panics, it is helpful. I can have some pronunciation, maybe mimicking some, but without listening, even though I can improved pronunciation, the meaningless, because I cannot listen to the native speakers uh, talking. The point is, after listening, I can improve pronunciation because I can remember what they talk. The 
memory to remember what we listen is uh, not only content, but also sound. We know about what we listened, what we heard, and then in the contents, what story is like we can talk about after listening. But in fact, after listening, we can remember what the story is like, what story is, then we can remember how people speak, the sound, their tone, their voice, their unique pronunciation. By doing that, I can mimic, I follow them, I try to pronounce, getting better. So and the point is, after listening, I can get good pronunciation. So just ask to yourself, can you listen? Means listen to the sound, listen to the contents. After listening, without any con any explanation, I can talk about what I listened in the lang language. And also, I can remember how he speak, how she speak, to try to mimic like uh, his sound. Both of speaking styles, content and sound, are important. By doing that, I can improve pronunciation because I can remember the sound, their spoken language. The point is listening is that one. Also, the important thing is about uh, listen actually is perfect sentence to build because uh, without a perfect sentence in grammar, and then I cannot catch up the whole content sentence by sentence. So uh, listening is not easy. Listening is uh, totally all about the language. After listening, we can achieve a good pronunciation, which is an important aspect. Additionally, understanding how to listen is crucial. Listening progresses step by step. For instance, when a child listens, they may comprehend the simple request like ordering pizza, but they wouldn't understand complex subjects like science or economics. As a tool for learn foreign language, we rely on our existing knowledge and common sense to understand what we hear. However, the challenge lies in retaining what we've heard. So how can we effectively listen to various content, such as YouTube videos featuring life story, success story, interview, or news? It boils down to vocabulary acquisition, familiarity with the sentence structures, and the ability to comprehend the material. I've come to realize that building a robust vocabulary Understanding grammar and uh, absorbing stories are crucial steps. This applies to any language. Listening isn't just about the act of hearing, it's about comprehending. To achieve this, uh, practice is essential. Listening requires not only understanding the word, but also grasping the context and cultural nuances. By engaging in conversations, reading stories, and expanding cultural and linguistic knowledge, we enhance our ability to comprehend what we hear after listening.
We can improve the pronunciation by recalling not just the content, but also the tone, pitch, and unique pronunciation of the speaker by mimicking these aspects to refine our pronunciation skills. So when you ask yourself if you can listen, consider whether you can understand both the content and the nuances of speech. It's uh, through this understanding that we can truly improve our pronunciation and grasp of our language. Listening isn't just about hearing, it's about comprehending and internalizing the nuances of speech and language. Oh, this is very good. ChatGPT give a group lead with the good content. When I review about uh, the topic that many people research about the important things. This is thoroughly uh, and the uh, fact of what topic. So when you make the topic, good one, which is uh, reviewed about academical that way, and then you can get the good reports from your composition, essay, or article, like a topic diary. It's very good.